much. Now, as we said earlier, no voting for anybody running for president, but many of the presidential campaigns representatives from were out at the polls collecting signatures to put their candidates on the ballot in Maine. News Center Maine's Jackie Mundry joins us now from the Cross Insurance Center in Bangor with a look at why presidential candidates now need these signatures. Jackie? Hi, Lee and Cindy here in Bangor at the Cross Insurance Center. It's been pretty steady according to volunteers throughout the day, and I think after work people are coming in a little bit more now, but also volunteers for different presidential campaigns are collecting signatures here at the polls. This is the first year candidates have had to collect these signatures to put a presidential candidate on the ballot here in Maine. Each candidate who wants to be on any state primary ballot has to collect a certain amount of signatures for each state. Here in Maine, that's 2,000 signatures. This is different than previous years in Maine because this used to be a caucus state. I think the voters, yeah, I think I don't understand it, but it's not more difficult to get them. You just kind of have to educate them. You know, when people have been doing something a certain way for a long time, that's the way they like to do it. I prefer the caucus system. And we just want to get them all on the ballot. doesn't mean you have to vote for them, but you do have to, um, like I said, show a presence in the state. So this helps to make the ballot as inclusive as it can be. In order to sign for a specific presidential candidate, you must be registered to that party. Officials here in Bangor and across the state will be collecting those signatures when you vote until the polls close. And here in Bangor, the, the polls close at 8 o'clock. Lee and Cindy, back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. And that's the same time around the state.